Hello, Marco from All Spirit Activism, sitting and reading Wayne Grudem's piece on why voting Donald Trump is a morally good choice. I have not really studied Wayne Grudem's work previously. I've encountered him sometimes when I've read about John Wimber and the Vineyard because I've understood that Grudem's teaching on the Kingdom of God was very foundational for how Wimber and the early Vineyarders understood the Kingdom. And he is still a very influential uh, evangelical theologian and leader. Now, I disagree, of course, with his statement that it would be morally good to vote Donald Trump for three reasons, and I would like to present them to you. The first reason is that an assumption that uh, Grudem makes in his article is that we can know what Donald Trump wants. So, we can listen to what Donald Trump says or read things on his website that is published and assume that that's what he actually will do as a president. And so he compares Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump and finds that Donald Trump is uh, better morally uh, when it comes to the positions that he has and the decisions that he wants to make. Now, that is a huge error because he has a personality disorder. He has a narcissistic personality disorder. And the thing with people who have that disorder is that they cannot be trusted. And they make decisions not based on reason, but on emotion. And this is clearly visible when it comes to Donald Trump. And there are several psychiatrists that have said that he is a textbook example of somebody that has a narcissistic personality disorder because of the rage that he shows uh, when he is displeased with, with someone and the irrational things that he claims and that he says um, that sprung, springs up from this emotion that he gets. Now, Grudem says that Donald Trump has flaws, uh, but on, on, on the whole, he has some good position, he is conservative, and then he, he makes some ridiculous claims sometimes, for example, that uh, the US should kill not just terrorists but their families and some other things that he said, his immoral behavior when it comes to sexuality and other things that, uh, racist things that he've said. Uh, Gruden says that these are flaws but on the whole he is a pretty good guy and he has some pretty good opinions. Now that's impossible uh, to say. I would say that uh, these racist remarks and, and these uh, ridiculous statements about building a wall, about uh, killing people, about uh, banning all Muslims from coming to the United States uh, reflects uh, his views, but at the same time it's very hard to say what his views are because not only may they drastically change, they may not matter at all when it comes to his decisions. And the fact that he hasn't ruled out using nuclear weapons in Europe, <laughs> where I happen to live, makes me feel uncomfortable. This guy is, according to 50 former uh, national security officers, completely unfit uh, from being president. And uh, according to several security experts, uh, nobody is really recommending Trump to be president because he cannot be trusted. And due to his narcissistic personality disorder, uh, there's, there's no way you can claim that this is what he wants. Hillary Clinton, no matter if you agree with her or not, we can be more sure will actually do what she says uh, because she isn't suffering from this severe disorder that makes you become, you know, totally irrational really when it comes to decisions. Now, the second problem with uh, Grudem's <laughs> article is that it is so domestic. The focus is on the um, um, on the lawyers that the president will appoint uh, to the Supreme Court and uh, uh, Gruden thinks that the, the list of people that Trump has promised uh, to appoint to that court is better than uh, the people that Clinton would appoint that would obviously be much more to the left. And <laughs> um, the, the things that he brings up are, of course, very important to him, like abortion, same-sex marriage, um, freedom of religion, and, and being allowed to say, um, to pray in Jesus' name, and things like that. Uh, but it's all uh, 
domestic issues and he isn't really discussing apart from a few things like Israel which is very symptomatic from you know people like him um, but he isn't discussing for example climate change where there's a enormous difference uh, between Hillary Clinton and uh, and Donald Trump uh, since Clinton actually takes that seriously and, and Trump isn't taking it seriously at all and, and he would most likely uh, bring upon a catastrophe that would kill uh, millions of people around the world. Uh, also again the the different stances they have on nuclear weapons where Hillary Clinton does not want to use them but Donald Trump uh, is seems to me quite eager to use them and he has been asking repeatedly uh, why, why we have nuclear weapons if we aren't allowed to use them. Uh, not just in this uh, weird uh, secret uh, interview that this uh, Joe guy uh, on MS M MSNBC talked about was actually public interviews where you can that you can find where Donald is is eager to use nuclear weapons. Uh, so those are some of the international issues where there's a huge difference um, between Donald Trump and and Clinton and where uh, most people around the world, most leaders and most ordinary people like myself clearly see uh, that Donald Trump would be a disaster um, and, and kill millions of people uh, not necessarily in a nuclear war but if, if nothing else due to uh, completely uh, non-action when it comes to climate change uh, which is becoming really uh, uh, an enormous problem really and also they, they um, they're, they're quite different or extremely different when it comes to viewing people from other nations like for example banning Muslims uh, is disastrous uh, due to many refugees being Muslims and so if the US bans Syrians from coming into the US when they try to flee from war obviously they will die I mean the, the Europe has already closed their borders Australia closing their borders so basically the only countries that receive refugees now uh, from Syria are other poor countries and they can't handle it they, they don't have any resources so people die people uh, are, are starving to death and people are freezing to death and it, it's really really horrible what's going on um, so yeah um, it, it also becomes irrational uh, trying to blame the Benghazi uh, incident on, on Clinton while not acknowledging that Trump will most likely kill millions of people and obviously that's a problem I don't like when when presidents kill people um, and if if you don't have this international mindset that's very easy to forget and that and that's clearly what Grudem does also um, a third thing is that Grudem is, is very aware of the dangers of what he calls the far left extremism and far left policies that he fears that Clinton will uh, will introduce and, and definitely I'm not a fan of, of Hillary Clinton uh, but uh, I would say it's it's extremely evident that Trump is far worse because he is a far right extremist um, he he has been supported by white, white supremacists and when uh, when that was the case he he uh, refused um, to condemn uh, David Duke from the KKK and other white supremacists um, he has tweeted racist tweets about African American uh, being responsible for almost all violence in the United States, which is extremely racist. And the other comments that he has made on, on Mexicans being rapists and, and criminals and, and the other racist r things that he has said clearly puts him in, in the far right uh, category. And, and so it's irrational, I think, to, uh, to fear f the far left while not acknowledging that Trump is a far right. Uh, and the, the fundamental thing as I said initially is that even if you would agree on Trump on every single thing that he says you cannot absolutely you, you, there's no way you can trust that that's what he actually will do um, because he uh, his personality disorder is so severe um, that he he will not base his decision on, on reason he will not base his decisions on suggestions from others he will base it on on uh, immediate emotion and he, he may um, cause wars because of that and, and so it's, it's very very evident that it would be very immoral uh, to support Donald Trump and, and so it's, it's much safer even if you disagree with her to vote for Hillary Clinton. Thank you for watching, God bless you.